Hi everyone and welcome to our video tutorial for this party cat bow tie that you can see Melba wearing here. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please like, share and subscribe and we hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> okay, so to make this party bow tie you'll need some yarn. So you'll need a main colour and I'm using this uh, metallic wool acrylic blend here. Um, just to give that real party vibe and then you, if you want to do what I'm doing you will need a, a tinsel yarn or some sort of feather yarn this I've got this sparkly gold to complement my main color and yeah you can use any two colors you like for this bow tie you can even you know just make it with one color for sure but I'm filming this around New Year's so I'm going for this party vibe for this bow tie you will need a crochet hook that corresponds to your yarn and I'm using four millimeters. A darning needle to weave in your ends. A pair of scissors. And a tape measure to take a um, measurement from your cat's neck circumference. Now this bow tie slips over the top of the head so you want to measure um, accurately the dimensions or the measurement of your cat's neck circumference and then we're going to be adding a little bit extra so it slips over the head. So you might want also a measurement um, of the width of your cat's head uh, but that's only optional you'll, but you'll certainly need a measurement for your cat's neck circumference. Okay so to make these uh, party bow ties you'll need to know how to make a slip knot onto your hook, how to create a chain and I'm going to offer you uh, different stitches today so you can either make this main bow part with um, half double crochet like I will or you can use single crochet or double crochet so all of those are US terms so you can choose whichever stitch you use in this area here okay it won't affect um, the dimensions that you go for it just affects the look of the stitch in this area here so that's entirely up to you like I said I'm going to use half double crochet for that today you'll need to know how to single crochet for the border and also for this neck piece um, from there you'll need to know how to slip stitch um, you'll need to know how to tie on to with a new yarn to add your border or your new color, which, whichever you're doing. I'll show you how I do that, but there's lots of different ways. So, you know, you can do that however you want to. Um, then from there, we'll be creating the bow. We'll be wrapping the center and sewing these pieces together. Okay, so sewing the bow to the band and also weaving in our ends. Okay, so... It is beginner friendly and it takes about, you know, it depends on your, your crochet technique and, and how experienced you are, but it takes about an hour, hour and a half to work one of these up. So um, it's a nice quick project. So um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so take your main colour and you'll make a slip knot onto your hook. And then you're going to make a chain to the width that you want for your bow. So we'll be working on the length. Now this is one long rectangle and then it's folded, folded around and sewn together at the back. Okay, so we're going to chain to this width that you want. So however, you want, however wide you want your bow tie. And then you'll times that by two. Okay, so it can be any number, you can chain any number you like. So go ahead and make a chain. So you might want a bigger bow tie, you might want a smaller bow tie. I'm going to make this one slightly smaller than this previous one. And just to give you an idea of the width that I made this one, this one is about 11 centimeters in width so the the total length of my chain would have been around 22 23 centimeters okay so you can make like I said I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so I think that I'll make it around uh, about nine centimeters most likely and to the um, width of nine centimeters so I'm gonna chain to about 18 centimeters so you'll work that out for yourself 
So go ahead and make the chain to the width of your bow tie and then double that number. And then maybe add an extra chain or two just to give you a little bit of leeway. So you go ahead and do that and I'll meet you once I've done mine. Okay, so I've got the length of chain that I want there. So I've got about, about 19 centimeters in my chain, but you'll potentially have a different length to me. Um, it doesn't matter the number of chains, that's, you know, you don't need to count the chains. Okay, so now you get to decide whether you want to use single crochet, half double crochet, or double crochet. Okay, it's entirely up to you. It makes, it makes um, you know, it makes no difference to the pattern. It's just what whatever you want for the stitch of this central part of the bow tie. So like I said, I'm going to use half double crochet. Now if you want to use either single crochet or double crochet, that's also fine. So I'm going to use, like I said, half double crochet. So I'm going to skip just one chain and then I'm going to work my half double crochet into the next chain. So if you're doing double crochet, you'll skip two chains just to give you that little bit of extra height. And if you're doing single crochet, you'll just skip the one chain as well. So whichever stitch you're using, so if you're using half double crochet like me, you'll just yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. So I'm going to just place one half double crochet in each of my chains. So you'll do the same, whichever stitch you're using, just one of e one stitch in each chain all the way to the end and I'll meet you once I get to the end of my chain. Okay I'm just placing my last half double crochet in that last chain. So there's my there's my first row done. Now what's a good idea is just to measure and check. Make sure you've still got about where you want to be. Yeah I've got 18 centimeters there which is Pretty much where I want to be because I want my bow tie to be about nine centimeters wide okay so yeah if you've got a little bit extra to what you need then that's fine because eventually we're going to fold this in half and sew it together so that's gonna now I look at that that's gonna be the I'll just pull out my hook for a second so when that gets folded in half that's going to be the size of my bow tie okay and then of course we'll create a bow. But this this is the now you can see the width of your bow tie. Okay. So we're going to continue on to row two. So row two and potentially row three. So now also you get to make the decision of how high you want your bow tie to be. Just remember that you're going to add the border. But um, for me, I'm going to do three rows. So I've done my first row here. I'm going to do two more rows of half double crochet to get the height that I want. Okay, so if you're using double crochet, you might only want one more row. Or if you want a wider bow tie, you might want, or taller bow tie, you might want to do three rows of double crochet. If you're using single crochet, you might um, need four rows to reach the height of the bow tie that you want. Okay, so you, you get to make all these decisions. So you can really tailor this bow tie to the size that you want. And I prefer to give you these options so you can, you know, you can, you, know, you can be creative as you want to be. I'll just give you the basic tutorial of how to make this, but you know, let your, your creativity shine through. So I'm going to move on to my row two. So I'll just chain one. And I'm going to just half double crochet in each of those stitches all the way across. So you do the same with whatever stitch you're using. This yarn is a little bit hard to work with, but it gives a lovely effect, a lovely sort of sparkly party vibe effect. So I'm going to keep going for my row two so you'll just place whatever stitch you're using you'll place one in each of your stitches all the way down to the end and I'll meet you when I get down to the end okay so I finished my second row there and because I want the height of my bow tie to be um, this I'm going to make it the same as this one but you can make your the height higher if you want to 
for sure. I'm going to go for one more row. So I'm going to do one more row of half double crochet. And then um, accounting for the border that I'm going to add, that's going to be as wide as I want mine. So uh, just to give you an idea of how wide mine will be, um, with including the border, it's about four centimeters wide, okay? Or high, I should say. If we're saying this is wide, this is the height here. So you can make it as high as you want. You could go, if you're using half double crochets like me, you could go for another, uh, an ex, you know, you could go for four rows. Um, you know, you can really make this your own. So go for however many more rows you want to, to create the height of the bow tie that you want. So, yeah, I'm going to go for one more row. So I'll finish my third row of half double crochets and then I'll meet you after that. Okay so there I have my long rectangle to the size that I want and I could potentially go for one more, more row but I think I'm going to stop there um, just to yeah keep it the same the same as this one. Okay. So if you've also finished so if you want to go for another row or two then go for it. If you're finished, you can just yarn over and pull through and snip off your end. And now we're going to add our border. So you'll have to tie on with a new color and I'll show you how I do that. So take your, take your tinsel yarn or whatever you're using for your border um, and you don't have to add, you know, you don't have to add uh, a border in a different color. Um, but, you know, it's, it's entirely up to you how you want to make this bow tie look and in which proportion. So I'm just going to tie on at one of my ends. Actually, I might tie on this end and work in my tail. So what I do is I just, so you can weave in those tail ends now if you want to, or you can just work them into your border. So when you can you can do this in any way you like, but I'll show you how I tie on a new yarn. So I just insert my hook into that first stitch, place my new colour or my new yarn over top. So I've got my short end this side, and then I just pull up a loop, okay, and then chain one to secure it on there, and then I'll just pull on that tail and just make sure. I've got everything nice and tight in there. And then I'm going to work in my tail ends, but you don't have to do that. You can you can just weave them in after. So I'm going to work another chain. So don't count the chain that you use to secure it. Just work another chain. And then I'm going to back in that same stitch where I tied on, I'm going to place a single crochet. And then I'm going to single crochet, working over my tails, in each stitch all the way along. Okay, so I'm just working in those tails as I go. So that's what you'll do on this side and then you'll do it the same thing so you can tie off at the end here but I'll, I'll meet you at the end of this first side. So we're only going to do it along the sides. Okay, we don't need to do these edges. We only want to do it on these long sides. Okay, so you'll do just one single crochet in each stitch along the top there. And then we're going to do the same along the bottom. But I'll meet you once we get to the end here and we'll finish that off together. And then we'll tie on to the other side. Okay, so I'm just coming to the end. I'm just placing my last single crochet in there and then I'm just going to yarn over and pull through and tighten that off rid of those titsily bits and then I'm just going to do the same on the other the other side so I'm going to once again tie on where I can work in my tail end I might just shorten that a little just snip that tail end. So actually you, what you can do once, if you're working in your tail ends, you can just snip off any excess. So, 
So I'm just going to tie on at this this edge, actually this way, sorry. So working in my tail end, I'm just going to tie in. So this is your, for me anyway, this is my chain edge. So I'll just be working into the other side of the chain, the other loop of the chain. So I'll just tie on in exactly the same way. I'll pull up a loop and chain one and tighten. And then I'll chain another one. That's for my single crochet height. So just make sure that it's nice and tight before you move on. And then I'm going to work in those two tails. So, oops, chain, oh no, did I chain one? I can't remember. I think I did. Yeah, <laughs> chain one. So then I'm just going to place a single crochet back into that same chain. And then I'm going to move along and I'm going to place one single crochet in each of those chains along this chain edge so I'm also working in my tail here as I go so the good thing about this tinsel yarn is it's quite forgiving you can hide you can hide things in it but it's also a little bit tricky to work with but you know you might not be using this tinsel yarn you might use it, be using a feather or you know just a normal yarn in a different color So I'm just going to place one single crochet in each chain to the end of this row. So I'll meet you once again once I get down to here. Okay, so I've done both of my long edges there. So I'm just going to yarn over, pull through once again. So just tighten there. And what I'm going to do is weave in these two, these two ends. So you go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to kind of assume that you know how to weave in an end. And once again, this, this tinsel yarn is very forgiving. So you can just weave back along underneath that single crochet row. You can hide it pretty easily. So I'm just going to go through once. And I'm not going to go, I'm not going to double back on this one. And I'll just snip off that excess. So go ahead and weave in your, your second tail end. Just hide it in along that edge there. And we'll come back and we'll start to create our bow. Okay, so you've got your rectangle now that we're going to turn into a bow. So take your take your darning needle or your needle and we're going to sew these two ends together at the back. Okay? So thread your thread your needle with your main color yarn. And so we're just going to sew at the back here. So you want them to come together at the center like this. Okay, so there's my two edges. And I'm going to sew them together at the back. Now, make sure you get them halfway. And then you're just going to, using your yarn. Now, this, this is going to be completely hidden. So it doesn't have to be perfectly, perfectly sewn. But you're just going to sew through from one side to the other. Now leave, when you're sewing here, what you want to leave length for is enough for sewing plus enough for wrapping this center area here plus sewing it onto the band. Okay, so you want to leave a good, good length. So I'm going to leave sort of 50 or 60 centimeters to make sure I've got plenty. Okay, so just make sure you've got enough and then you're just going to sew with a you know whatever stitch you like just between these two sides and then once again it's going to be completely hidden at the back there so it doesn't have to be super super neat so you'll just pull that through And it's long, so it just takes a moment to pull through. 
So just sew those two ends together, just with whatever whatever stitch works for you. So right to the end there. And then with your other end of this yarn, so you can remove your you can remove your needle. And with the other end, just cut off at the same length. Okay, so just take the length with, and I've got plenty there, but I always like to leave plenty to make sure I don't run out. So I'll just chop the other end of my yarn off there. Okay, so we've got this here. So make sure that that join is right at the center back. And then we're going to have one of the tails on this side and then one of the tails on the bottom side. And then we're going to pinch the, the bow. So what you want to do, if you can see on this one, see, see how it's got that bow shape? It's been pinched like this. Okay, so you want to pinch just, you can just work with the top the top area you don't have to pinch both but just pinch it into like a bow fold see like this okay and then you want to start wrapping so it doesn't matter which one you start wrapping with but you're going to wrap one end in one direction so I'm going to wrap this one over the top here and make sure you're pulling quite tight obviously don't break your yarn but you're going to wrap this first tail a few times and then you're going to wrap the other tail just get that one out of the way then you're going to wrap the other tail in the opposite direction on the other side okay so pull quite tight to make your bow shape and you'll wrap for however ma many times you want. Now, just every now and again, just check your how your bow is how you want it to be. That the the central part is sitting in the center, and just pull a little bit and shape your bow as you go. So I want that to be sitting just a little bit further to this side. So just wrap. A little bit more on this side so just keep an eye on how your symmetry is and how you want your bow to be now this you can make this as thick an area in the center here as you want just yeah you're wrapping one in one direction the other in the other direction okay and then once you're where you want to be let's have a look how am I doing there shape of my bow just pull to the center slightly yeah it's getting there it's pretty close so just shape your bow yeah it's looking pretty good so I just want to bring both ends to the back and then you're just going to tie tie a knot in the back there just to secure it secure it down okay so that's the that's the bow done and you can just do any little shaping that you need to do open out the center piece and there's your cute little bow and so you've got your nice long tails and I've got plenty here but you've got your nice long tails that you can sew your bow to your band so we're going to move on and make the make the neckband this part here so you'll take your main color or whatever color you like really and you'll make a slip knot onto your hook And you're going to chain three. Now, if you've got a very fine yarn, you might want to chain an extra one. But we're going to skip that first stitch and we're going to place 
a single crochet in the second stitch and then a single crochet in the next stitch, the last stitch. So that's how wide our neckband's going to be. So if, like I said, if you're using a really fine yarn, you might want to go for an extra stitch, uh, yeah, an extra stitch. So you'd add an extra chain. But otherwise, all we're going to do is just chain one here. And we're just going to place a single crochet in those two stitches. So chain one and one single crochet in each of those two stitches. Now you'll go ahead and do that just working backwards and forwards. Chain one, single crochet in each stitch. So you're just going to work backwards and forwards until you've reached the length that you want for your neckband. Now that will um, be taking into consideration your cat's neck circumference. So for example, Melba is about 23 and a half centimeters around her neck. And then she's got quite a fine head, so I don't need to leave a lot extra to get that, you know, just slip it over her head. But if your cat has quite a wide head in proportion to their neck, you might need to add a little bit extra. So for Melba, I'm going to add about half a centimetre to a centimetre extra. You might need to add more, so two to three cent up to you know two to three centimetres extra. But you know you don't want it fitting too loose, but you also obviously don't want it too tight, so you can't get it over your cat's head comfortably. So I'm going to keep working these rows backwards and forwards, one single crochet in each of those two stitches, until I get to a length of about. Probably going to go to about 24, 24 and a half centimeters for Melba, and she's really comfortable with having things slipped over her head. So, um, I, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit, you know, if it's a snug fit over her head, she's, you know, she's fine to let me slip that over her head. But if your cat's not so fine with things slipping over their head, then you know, just make it just that little bit looser, okay? And it might just sit a bit more loosely, but you know, cats first. And then the fit. So, um, yeah, so go ahead, work backwards and forwards, and I'll keep going on mine, and I'll meet you back once I've got the length that I want. Okay, so I've got about 24 centimeters there for my neckband. Now you're just going to fold your neckband in half, chain one, and we're just going to slip stitch across to join these. So just put Put your hook in the in one of the stitches and I just tend to pick up the back loop and then into the chain on the other side, the second chain loop on the other side. And you're just going to slip stitch to join those across. The other option is you could sew them like we did with the bow, but it's easier just to slip stitch across. Well, it is for me. And then you can just yarn over and pull through. Just leaving enough to weave in and we're just going to weave in these two these two tail ends into the back here of the band so just take one of them and what I tend to do is I just it, I mean it doesn't matter because it's at the back anyway but I just tend to just clean up these this edge a little bit using my using this yarn so I just bring those two edges together just using my yarn and then I'll weave this tail end down in the back of this band so just anywhere that you can weave it in and you'll go ahead and you'll do the same for the second one and I'll meet you after I've finished that so if you want to secure this well you can just go through once and then double back just not exactly where you've come from but double back in under those stitches and there's one there's one hidden just snip off any excess and then go ahead and do your second your second tail and I'll meet you once I've done mine okay so there you have your neck band and I'll just turn mine in the, the right way and your bow so we're just gonna simply sew these two together so take your needle and thread with one of your tail ends 
So we're going to use both tail ends to sew it on. Just once again, keep, it helps to keep the symmetry. So thread with one of your tail ends. And then we're going to, so wherever you've sewn that ed, those two edges together, just place that, place the bow on top of that area. And we're going to, just going to, so coming in on one side of that, that edge, we're just going to sew down into the neckband. And then we're going to come, so stay on that same side, just, just to the one side of centre. And come up through the, the, the bow into the side of the center piece there. Okay. And sew that on. And then go back down and do that at least, you know, if, you know, one time might be okay. But if you want to, you know, really secure it on, you can go a second time but for me for this yarn it's going to be nice and secure with just one time so I'm going to do that repeat that same thing with the other tail so I'll thread my needle with the other tail and I'll go into the other side just on the other side of that that neckband of, oh, sorry, of the centre, you know, where, where that centre of that seam is. Just just come down slightly on the other side, just so it sits nice and nice and symmetrically. So come down and through. And then you'll come up and through into the other side of the bow. Okay, it's going to be really hard to get it through that centre piece. So I get it just to the side of the bow there, so the bow center, and I'll go back down, and it, and it you know, it, if you're close to, right up close to that center piece, you'll disguise where the sewing is. So I'll bring that down. So I only need to do that once on each side. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna weave this end that I've got currently here and I'm just going to weave that through to meet the other tail so then I can just tie a little knot in the back there between those two tail ends. I'll just pull that through. So I'm just at the end there and then I'm just going to tie a little, I'll just leave my needle on there, I'm just going to tie a little knot at the back just to secure that. You can do that is a double knot and then you'll just simply weave in these tail ends in the back and then you're pretty much done so I'm just going to weave in these tail ends and I'll meet you once I've done that okay so once you've woven in your ends and snipped off the excess there's your little um, party bow tie so look how cute that is. And what you can do is you can just, you can shape this a little. You can open this out. You can like squeeze the little edges together and make the holes in the center a little bit bigger. So you, you can get to shape your bow however you want it to be. And how cute is that? So um, nice sparkly party bow tie. So I would love to see photos of what your creativity has come up with, whether you've done a party version like I have, or you've just used two different colors. I would love to see, yeah, you know, I just love to see your creativity. So send those along to catventurous.crochet at gmail.com, or you can tag us on social media at catventurous.crochet. So Melbourne and I wish you a very happy and safe new year and we hope to see you soon. Thanks very much. Bye. Please like, share and subscribe and we hope to see you soon. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Ready?